What's going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. Well as you can see just from looking at the views on these last HCM3 videos, I mean 3,000, 8.5 thousand, 6.3 thousand, you guys have been absolutely loving the Healthier Choices Management Corp videos. Y'all have absolutely been loving HCMC stock and I'm going to try my absolute best to keep you as informed and up to date as possible on this company. Well what today's video is focused, you know, it's going to be focused more on is that outcome of the lawsuit that we are seeing them go through. There's a couple different outcomes that this could lead to that I think could be very beneficial for this company and i did want to go ahead and do my research figure out what exactly this will likely lead to just to give you guys an even more you know in-depth understanding of what exactly is going on with this company my goal with this again is to keep you all as informed as i possibly can and as up to date and if you do want to stay really as up to date as you possibly can whenever it comes to this company everyone that i know pretty much has, that has been investing in this company that a lot of them are going to be in my discord on my patreon we all talk we all converse we talk about atmc we put different news any articles that we see everything like that we talk about them very very often in the discord so if that is something that you would be interested in we actually did have one spot open up for bronze early we're starting to get even somewhat low on silver and bronze you know we're already starting to fill up some of these positions we already have pretty much maxed out the bronze early so if you do want to stay as up to date as possible about this and all of your favorite stocks as well as my trade my trade portfolio my early content everything like that i would definitely head over to the link in the description and check this out as i do believe that this could be a fantastic opportunity for anyone involved well, anyway, whenever it does come to HCMC, we can see that they have been going absolutely insane. I mean, today to be up over 131%, I personally could not get filled on this company to save my life. I had been trying for like 45 minutes and market open to get filled. I ended up getting filled somewhere around this price right here. So I am like pretty much flatline for the day. We did see them, their share volume go up about 12 billion. 12 billion shares were traded, about 57,000 trades, over 41, 41 million in dollar share volume absolutely insane this company is just running through the roof right now everyone is on it and everyone is very very excited about this company so whenever it does come to this overall um you know this lawsuit that we're seeing of course we're seeing the hcmc suing philip morris international over patent infringement on one of their patents it's a 170 patent that is related to the heating sticks and the overall formulation of their vape um sticks that they use well whenever we do go here we can start to check out some of the things in which they are asking for from this lawsuit again today's video we're going to be talking about what the outcome of this lawsuit could be and what it will mean for the company well first up as we can see here this is at the very very bottom if you go look at their filing for the lawsuit if you go to the very bottom you'll see something that says prayer for relief and that is basically going to be the explanation of what exactly they want if you go through all of this stuff it's like their ex explanations of what the lawsuit's about we have pictures here that are going to be explaining the different products and why they're infringing on the patent but if you always go to the very very bottom right here right in that prayer for relief you will see what they are asking for well these first two aren't too 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 important whenever it comes to this overall lawsuit as they just say that basically we want you to rule in our defense but if we go to C, it says that they want um them to ordering the defendants to account and pay damages adequate to compensate plaintiff for defendants infringement of the 170 patent so basically what that means is that they want them they want the court to order philip morris to account and pay damages adequate to compensate hcmc the plaintiff hcmc for defendants infringement of the 170 patent including pre-judgment and post-judgment interest and costs and supplemented damages for any continu continuing post-verdict or post-judgment infringement. So basically, if they had any other costs, anything that happens after this lawsuit is over or during this lawsuit, they also want them to be charged for that as well. We do have another one for D. It says that they, are or they want them to order an accounting of any infringing sales not presented at trial and an award by the court of additional damages for any such infringing sales. They are asking for awarding healthier choices, its costs and expenses incurred in this action so basically whenever you do go through the process of a lawsuit it costs a lot of money as we can see here from industry week they have an amazing article that goes over patent infringement and as we can see here that it costs from several hundred thousand dollars to a few million dollars to launch and to take trial a patent infringement lawsuit as a result many investors small businesses universities and other patent owners do not have the financial resources to finance a patent infringement lawsuit so as we can see here they are asking them to pay for the costs and expenses that are incurred in this action so not only are they saying you infringe on our patent so we want you to pay the damages but you're also going to pay for this 
lawsuit that we're bringing to you, basically. Now, next up, it says that they are granting, they want them to grant healthier choices such other and further equitable relief, which may be requested into which healthier choices is entitled, and granting such further relief as the court deems appropriate. So basically, they're just saying, look, y'all infringed on our patent. We believe that it led to some damages that we might have lost, we might have lost potential customers, that there are damages, and we also want you to pay for not only that, for the damages, but we want you to pay for this lawsuit and anything else that the court deems necessary. If they can rule that this was pr purposeful, which I honestly don't think so. I don't think they're going to be able to rule that Philip Morris purposefully infringed on their patent. But if they can potentially rule out anything else, if there's any more sales during this lawsuit, anything like that, they're asking for the court to go ahead and provide them with the capability of getting paid from Philip Morris for it. So if we go ahead to this article, there are a few spots on this article that I actually did want to touch on that I think are super duper important to really understanding this process. So there are a few different ways in which that they are going to be able to go about this. And there's one that is very, very common. It says here that when fighting patent infringement, some infringers, when faced with evidence that they're producing or selling a product or service that infringes a patent, will decide to do the right thing and license the patent. So basically what that means is what they're going to go ahead and do is say, okay, we're going to continue to keep selling um, this different, you know, these different vape sticks or whatever that we're selling. And yes, we are admitting we are infringing on your patent. So what we're going to do is we're going to pay you. We're going to license. It. So what that means is that we're going to pay you a certain amount for either every one we sell or we're going to pay you an upfront amount to be able to continue selling them. So for healthier choices management, that's a very good thing. That's almost like passive income. Like, yeah, okay, you can use our tech, but you're going to have to pay me for every single one that you sell. And that's a passive, very consistent source of income that honestly, I don't think anybody would complain about. But it also says here that, however, many will challenge the claim. When charged with patent infringement, most patent infringers respond with the same refrain. They are not infringing on the patent and the patent is not valid anyway. In fact, a common strategy by infringers is to challenge the validity of the patent, forcing the patent into re-examination by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, and that process can take a year or longer. So that's where the issue comes in with this company. Philip Morris is a very large company. They have money to be able to handle this lawsuit. The issue with HCMC is we can see that they are not a very big company who are still working to even get profitable. So I'm not sure if they're going to be capable to handling this lawsuit for a year or two years while they have to maybe potentially go through this re-examination of their, pro of, the, of their patent or go through some long drawn out lawsuit. So realistically in the sense that if they do, if Philip Morris does decide to challenge it, that could be a bad thing for HCMC. And the reason I say that is because HCMC's patent in the way in the design of their overall product is kind of broad in a sense. So the issue is there are so many other companies who have products very similar to this one that it could be somewhat difficult to prove that it is actually patent infringement and I'm not sure if HCMC can actually stick it out for the long run. Now, there is a good fact that is stated here right after that paragraph, and it says, like most civil litigation, patent infringement lawsuits are typically settled sometime during the course of litigation, but before actually going to trial. So in HCMC's case, that could be fantastic because they're not going to be continuously paying all of these different court fees, lawyer fees, um, trial fees, and all of these different things. So that would be, you know, that would be the, the more optimal solution for this whole entire situation is if, you know, Philip Morris can either say one of two things. Okay, look, we'll either pay you in the damages and we'll stop selling this product so we don't infringe on your patent. And look, you can have our consumers. They'll probably go to you if they like our product that much. And we got to remember, IQOS is the product in which Philip Morris is selling, and they have 15 million users of this product. So if they decide to stop selling it, well, realistically, if HCMC can go ahead and start to use their patent to develop that technology and to further develop it and start to get it out there, those loyal customers might decide that, okay, well, we're just going to start to get it from HCMC if that is a viable option for them. Or secondly, the option that I would hope for is that Philip Morris is like, look, we have 14 million people using it. What we'll go ahead is if we know this is a good source of income for us. We understand that we infringed on your patent. And again, what we're going to do, we're going to pay you out a certain amount that you decide, you know, these are the royalties in which you would have decided if, you know, like before this whole lawsuit, if we decided we wanted to use your tech, we would have come to you and said, what are royalties that you would want if we decided to sell products that use your patent? And so they're going to go ahead, decide that out. And then we could see potentially Philip Morris continue to sell the IQ. QOS and then pay off these royalties and these licensing you know, fees or whatever over to HCMC. That would be the more optimal solution for this issue. Definitely let me know what you all think about this. I do believe that the second one, again, is going to be the more, the, I hope I hope it does come to down to some type of royalty or licensing agreement, because I think that that is going to be better long-term for HCMC. But with all of this, it will further prove if HCMC is capable of winning this lawsuit, it does prove that their technology is their technology and that they have taken a step 
stake of this overall growing industry, which is going to be the e-cigarette, the vaping industry. And it says, look, this is a piece. This is our piece right here. No one's going to use our technology. And if you do use our technology, be ready to go to court. We've proven it once and we'll prove it again. And so I do believe that that is a big statement from this company. And I do think that that could allow them to grow very well. Again, I think going in the future, there are a few different routes in which ACMC is going to maintain a lot of momentum and actually take a good win from this overall lawsuit. Well, definitely let me know what you all think about it. That is my take, at least. Again, I do want to keep you all as updated as possible whenever it does come to this company. So if you have anything else that you would like to know, any ideas for videos, anything you'd like me to talk about, definitely leave it in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I do post two to four times every single day. Day, and I'm, you know, I'll be happy to see you all soon. Peace.